Let me know what you think in the comment section. It's curious for me. Let's get started. I haven't really primed my eyes. We're just gonna go with it like that for today. And I'm gonna be using my angled brush. And for my cut crease, I'll be using this powder palette and I'm using this shade of brown here, yeah? And I'm gonna dab that into it. So the brush I'm using, and then I'm just gonna rub it against my the back of my hand just to move a bit of residue. And we are going to be just blending that in our cut crease so i'm using this angled brush yeah? so dab in again and we're just rubbing that into a cut crease so you want it a bit intense so you're gonna go repeat the same process a few times each time dabbing into the into the powder because there's a certain depth that i want it to be so for me to intensify it i actually need to go in a few more times so hold the brush lightly and firmly sorry and then when you just a blend make sure that it's soft very soft touches you can see already it's slightly intense think about a bit more okay so this should be it I'm gonna use the same brush um, or maybe I'll go with another one just so I have so I've got in another one the one I was using this one is also an angled brush they're both angled but I just don't want the mix of the two to touch each other. So I'm going to go in in my outer corner just to um, make that effect of a smoky eye. I'm going to go in with this darker shade. And I'm going to... And then just dabbing the corner of my eyes. So you see how I'm drawing it. I'm not really taking it all the way, but I'm just mainly focusing just on that corner of the eye. And then kind of come with it in a more um, angled way. So it's in this way, yeah? So drag it down a bit, you can drag it slightly down, so you see that gradient flow of the brown and the intense dark one, that is what we want, want it to be gradient, gradually just sinking into the other one, and softly blending in that's exactly what you want so i'm gonna make it slightly intense remember here you're dragging it down at an angle and 
we're doing the same on the other side. You see that gladian flow from the lighter brown to the darker kind of creating a smoky eye it's so so gradient that's exactly what we want yeah and then for the center of our eye like from the tear duct wrap it uh, right up into the middle parts I'm gonna be using like a shimmer it's also in the sets of browns, but it's more like a shimmer and it's from this palette. And it's this right here. Sorry, it's this right here. It's whiskey. Yeah? Don't know if the camera can kind of catch that. But I'm using this one. So I'm going to dab, if you can use, the more different brushes you use, honestly, the better. So now I'm just tapping on the middle part, the center here, and just kind of bring it slightly to the tear duct. You see that gold champagne it's already giving us and that's the look we're going for and we're gonna do the same on the other side so now that we're done on both sides I'm gonna go ahead and just clean my outer eyes for any excess overflow of the eyeshadow that we're actually placing and I'm using this concealer, Elego Pro, uh, in the shade Kutan. And I'm um, just like you see this axis here. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Slightly just hold my eye like so and just angle that concealer that way. Same here, hold it at an angle, make sure it's tight and just place that concealer yeah and i'm just gonna blend this out with my blender and Okay, so we've cleaned any excess out. And now I'm going to get a flat brush. So I'm getting this flat brush. And I'm going to use, I'm using the same powder that we used for our top, um, top part there on the cut crease. And I'm going to use this. Remember, I use a brush that is as flat as possible. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is really flat, yeah? I'm going to rub into the same powder that we used and just place that under my eyelids. This is for more definition and just to help the eyes really, really like pop out. 
And then I'm going to do the same on the side. Yeah. So do you see the difference? Like how the eyes is actually, like how the eyes popping out on this end has compared to this. And this, like, it's so, 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 so obvious. This one's popping out and this one's entirely not. So let's make this one pop as well. So just placing that just below the waterline, yeah? You don't really want it on your waterline because it's going to make um, you tear. So to avoid that, you slightly just press it on just right under the waterline. As close as possible to the actual waterline. And there we go. And now we're going to be putting on lashes. And we finished the rest of the look. Okay, so for the lashes, I've put these ones. Um, these are just drugstore lashes. These are the ones that I put. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. But yeah, these are just drugstore lashes. I just trimmed them a bit to fit my eye. And I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the face and I'll be back. So that was basically it. I was just showing you how to make this smoky champagne eye look. Yeah, so that was it. Let me finish the rest of the makeup and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. With the whole foundation routine and everything, if you really want me to do the whole look together with the foundation and whatnot, please do let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and become part of this family. And of course, do thumbs this video up if you did like it. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Until the next one, it's a goodbye. What is waiting half a step beyond our door?